Well, there you go, guys. It is 11.30 at night. The garage is an absolute disaster. Um, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram. You saw that uh, we had all the guys here last night doing some last minute changes, top-ups, tune-ups, you name it, on the bikes, making sure we're absolutely ready to go to uh, SMM this year. And uh, so I just wanna share with you guys what I'm preparing to bring um, <clears throat> on this trip. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, lucky for me, I don't have to bring absolutely everything. I am riding with five bikes, so we are able to share the tool load a bit. Uh, one of the guys is bringing a full socket set and some tools, but there's a few things that I need specific to my bike uh, as well as contribute to the group. So we're going to go over that real quick. Um, Kevin and I both have smaller fuel tanks than the, the Harley guys. So well, I guess Kevin is a Harley guy, but the road glides, the touring bikes. So got some extra fuel bottles. Might not need both of them, but we'll see. We're going to bring both and see what happens. Uh, extra quart of oil. I will bring a water bottle to top up the radiator if needed, but I don't think I will. But, I mean, I'll keep one on the bike anyways for just such an occasion. Um, extra baggies for who knows what, but I got some work gloves in there. Sorry, uh, vinyl gloves, latex gloves to work on the bike. Cover, protect your hands, and that way you're not putting oily hands back in your motorcycle gloves. Some cordage, a uh, paracord, electrical tape, flashlights. We've got a multi-tool, we've got a tire repair kit, and we've got an air compressor that plugs into the uh, plugs into the battery tender here. We can air up tires if we needed, which is great. A lot of the little CO2 bottles, but you know what? I think that one's going to be great. It's reusable. Um, yeah, so a few things I have specific to my bike are uh, the sockets and the 13 millimeter. Because I don't have a stock seat anymore, I can't just pop it off and access my battery. Unfortunately, with this setup, uh, I mean, this is not a touring bike. It's not why I bought the bike, so I'm not too, too worried about it. But I have to pull all this junk off. I have to remove the bags, remove the rack, remove my subframe connector to expose the bolts to pull this off just to be able to access my battery. But I kind of planned it out so all the bolts that I need to take off for this are 13 millimeter. It's gonna be one tool, take all it off, access the battery if I need to, fuse panel, all that kind of stuff. Pain in the ass, but you know what? It's not a touring bike. I'm never gonna have this stuff back on here. It's never gonna live on the bike. I just, I do not like this bike with, with saddlebags and sissy bars. It's just not for me. So, you know what? It serves a purpose. Um, tire gauge, I got my preload adjuster so I can adjust. I haven't really ridden with this much weight before, so. Need to bump that up i can got some some spice connectors sort of fuses um allen key for my gopro stuff and i you know do a couple more assortments of other allen keys whatever a couple ziploc bags some shop towels some microfibers and then some other simple stuff i got some matte detailer i gotta keep that bright you know keep the bike fresh and clean and uh just some helmet visor cleaner to get the bugs off and I don't think we sold you this, a little battery pack for jumping the bike in case we kill a battery. We can do that quite easily. So that's what I'm going to be taking. Uh, and zip ties. They're, they're somewhere here. I don't know where they went, but zip ties as well. And like I said, other guys have many other items too. So we just kind of share in the load of carrying everything. And just uh, I got more videos of this coming out. But I just want to give you a quick overview of what we had to do to the bike just gonna get it ready. Um, end up going with the Viking bags. I quite like them for the price. I think the pair was like 130 bucks American. You know what? You can't you can't really beat it. Lots of room. Put some sandals in there. Um, it's lockable. Velcro holds it down. You got these little twist loops here that allow you to put a uh, a uh, you know a padlock through there if you need to. Nice and clean. Um, I think for the price, for the dollar, they are a great value. Highly recommend it. The only thing is these are Indian Scout specific bags. So the bolt holes come on the Scout come straight. Um, on the bobber, they're kicked like this. So we had to kind of fabricate up some goofy bracket. Again, I have no intention of keeping this on here. So this is kind of hokey, but um, 
It's strong, it's functional, it doesn't move, it serves a purpose just fine. So we've got those two bags and the big sissy UR bag. This is the one that I will take in the hotel with me every day. It's got all my stuff. These will stay on the bike. You know, they'll carry tools, rain gear if I need it. Hopefully I don't. Um, you know, my shoes, stuff like that. Stuff I don't need every day. This will be my everyday bike, or sorry, my everyday bag. And that fits on just like that. And that goes nowhere. So we keep my clothes in here, keep my camera gear up here, maybe some extra visors. This is empty right now. It's going to load up the last little bit. It is. Run a little tank bag. We're in my um, sunglasses in here. You know, I can keep some extra bills and whatever for toll roads. A bottle of water or something like that. Um, haven't used that bag before, but we'll give it a go. The other last thing that we had to do to get the bike ready was I had to take these, the... Uh, side light side mount license plate bracket off which is aftermarket to anybody that's not in the u.s if you're in the u.s that came stock if you aren't in the u.s you get one of these international tail pieces so in one of my other videos you saw me take this off put the side mount on but just could not make this work i think Oki addiction bought some bags out of italy they are specific to the bobber and they fit the bike great um unfortunately i didn't go that route i went this way so i had to make some compromises Ended up getting the Joker machine lights to make some extra clearance here for the rear tail lights because they just they were hitting this and it wasn't going to work. And uh, while I was at it, a little sneak peek. And like I said, there's videos coming out on all this. Ended up doing the Joker fronts, some Joker levers, and I also did uh, Joker shift pegs and uh, pegs. Why not, right? Looks good. Joker pulley cover, Joker shift rail. You might say I like the Joker stuff, which I do. They got great customer service. But anyways, guys, that's where we're at. The bike is ready. I'm exhausted. It's probably about midnight by the time I'm out of here. I'm going to get about three hours of sleep. And then on the road. So, wish me luck. And uh, I'll be sure to update on Instagram uh, as much as I can. So make sure you're checking me out. Follow us on Instagram, follow us on YouTube, and uh, guys, this is going to be a hell of a trip. Stay tuned.